Today I'm going to be talking about the national symbols of the Philippines. Not many people are aware that only a handful of objects we think are national symbols are recognized by the law. These include our national anthem, of course, but doesn't mention a national hero or national fruit. The following is a list of objects that is recognized by the Constitution as national symbols. National Bird, Philippine Eagle The endangered Philippine Eagle is a majestic bird of prey that has powerful talons, a 7-foot wingspan, and blue-gray eyes. Mostly solitary and territorial by nature, the Philippine Eagle needs thousands of hectares of forest land in order to thrive. They can live up to 40 years in captivity and only lay eggs every two years or so, only after the first of their offspring has gone off on its own. National Tree, Nara The Nara tree is a hardy species of indigenous flora. Although it can be found scattered around Asia and Africa, it is particularly respected in the Philippines as the national tree. The tree itself can reach heights of up to 100 feet and carries with its majestic crown of leaves. Its fragrant odor and durable bark make it a wonderful choice for woodwork projects and cabinetry. Nara is a large deciduous reddish hardwood tree that is native to most Asian countries. Widely introduced due to its many uses, the Nara was declared the National Tree of the Philippines in 1934 by Governor General Frank Murphy of the Insular Government of Philippine Islands. National Flower, Sampaguita or Arabian Jasmine The Sampaguita is prolific in Manila, a fragrant white bud that many can find as floral offerings in churches and other places of worship. Belonging to the jasmine genus, Sampaguita usually blooms at night, opening up into a star-shaped flower that can be used to make leaves, corsages, and flower crowns. The national flower Sampaguita symbolizes purity, simplicity, humility, and strength, declared as the national flower by Governor General Frank Murphy through Proclamation No. 652 in 1934. National Gem Pearl. The Philippine pearl industry is one of the most lucrative in the world. In fact, would you be surprised to learn that the world's largest pearl, weighing 34 kilos, come from the country hailed as the Perlas ng Silanganan, Pearl of the Orient? The pearl had, in fact, been discovered in 2006, but was only revealed to the press by the pearl farmer who found it 10 years later in 2016. He had reportedly kept it hidden under his bed as a good luck charm. The Pearl of Allah weighing 7 kilos was also found off the shores of Palawan. Philippines is a national traditional source of natural pearls and shells. Bajau people are well known for their diving skills and the search for rare natural pearls. At present, cultured pearl farming is important. Philippines is known as an important source of golden South Sea pearls. National Sport Arnis Growing up, I've always known that SIPA was the national sport. Former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo declared Arnis as the national sports of the Philippines in 2009. Arnis has multiple names across the Philippines such as Escrima, Cali, and Garote. It's a Filipino martial art that usually involves one or two sticks used to strike, thrust, and parry for defense and offense. National motto, Makadios, Makatao, Makakalikasan, at Makabansa. The national motto, as decreed under the heraldic code of the Philippines, emphasizes the values that Filipinos are taught to have. There is a focus on God, our fellow men, the environment, and the country. Unofficial symbols. Although the following national items are unofficial in the eyes of the Constitution, House bill prepared in 2014 has been created to try to give these people and objects the recognition they deserve. House Bill Number 3926, also known as an act declaring the national symbols of the Philippines, aims to make the national hero, song, bird, dance, fish, 
animal, leaf, fruit, food, costume, slippers, and house official. National hero, Jose Rizal. It's surprising to think that despite our familiarity with Jose Rizal, he is in fact not recognized by the Constitution as our national hero. And although the proposed House Bill No. 3926 seeks to award Jose Rizal the title of national hero, actually in 1995, the technical committee created by former President Fidel V. Ramos through the Executive Order No. 5 nominated nine Filipinos to have the title. These include Jose Rizal, Andres Bonifacio, Emilio Aguinaldo, Apolinario Mabini, Marcelo H. Del Pelar, Sultan Diab Tuan Kudarat, Juan Duna, Melchora Aquino, and Gabriela Silang. National Dance, Cariñosa In Spanish, the word Cariñosa means the affectionate one. The courtship dance of Hispanic origin portrays acts of flirtation between two dancers, which the female dancer often holding a fan or a handkerchief. National Animal Carabao, Water Buffalo, or Calabao in Filipino The Calabao, Water Buffalo has long been held as the Philippine farmer's most valuable asset. Its hard-working nature and sturdy build are a great help around the fields that cover our landscapes in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Not only do they help plow rice fields alongside their owners, but the Calabao also offers many different products that can be used for commercial reasons, such as their milk and their meat. The Carabao is a domestic swamp-type water buffalo native to the Philippines. Carabaos were introduced to Guam from the Spanish Philippines in 17th century. National Fish Bangus or milkfish. Who doesn't love a good side of bangus or milkfish with their sinangog in the morning? Milkfish aquaculture was first developed in the Philippines about 800 years ago and has since become a thriving industry for farmers and chefs in the country. The fish itself is quick to adapt to various kinds of environment and offers Filipino diners a variety of recipes that can be made with its distinct taste. Dagupan bangus is well known for its savory flavor, thus labeled as the world's tastiest milkfish, aside from the most popular method of bangus preparation of grilling fresh dagupan bangus, many would recognize dagupan bangus as the deboned milkfish sold in markets around the world. Dagupan City is known as the Bangus Capital of the Philippines. They celebrate annual Bangus Festival which features Bangus cuisine, street dancing and more. National Leaf Anahaw or Fawn Palm The Anahaw or Palm is a large, glossy, fan-shaped leaf that is often used for aesthetic purposes as well as practical purposes. Its large shape offers plenty of shade and can even be made into fans, food wrappers, and landscaping decorations. The Anahaw straight, durable trunk is highly in demand for poles and pillars, flooring, pack carriers, fishing rope rod, canes, and spear shaft. It takes 20 to 25 years before anahaw could be harvested for the production of anahaw-based items. To save the remaining anahaw in the wild and at the same time cope with the demands for this raw material, the Region 5 office has conducted information education and communication campaigns and application of anahaw seed technology leading to plantation management. National Fruit Mango the Philippines is known worldwide for its homegrown mangoes, sweet, golden, delicious, and juicy. Mango is one of the country's crowning glories, especially those grown from Cebu and Guimaras. The Philippines can grow a variety of mangoes including Pajo, Subsupin, Indian, Calabao, and Pico. The Calabao variety is among the most popular fruits in the country and has been recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records in 1995 as the sweetest fruit in the world. National Food Adobo 
Many already consider adobo to be the national food of the Philippines. This versatile recipe is a local classic that many believe to have originated from the pre-colonial times. House Bill No. 3926 says that adobo is an indigenous cooking style that the Spanish first observed when they came to the Philippines. Today, many variations have come from this recipe including chicken adobo, pork adobo, adobo sagata, adobong puti, adobong giniling, and more. National House, Bahay Kubo, or Nipahut. The Nipahut, a humble shelter made from bamboo and anahaw leaves, shall be deemed the National House should this bill be passed. The Nipahut carries a rich legacy, not just of traditional Filipino architecture, but also of the Bayanihan spirit of the Filipino people. In the past, whole communities would help each other transport a neighborhood's Nipahut from one point to another. National Costume Barotsaya and Barong Tagalog Is Buwan ng Wika ever complete without someone in Barotsaya and Barong Tagalog? These beautiful outfits are distinct and traditional Filipino. The Barong Tagalog worn by men is a lightweight, embroidered formal shirt worn over an undershirt. The finest pieces are usually made from indigenous materials and have full patterns embroidered on the front. The female counterpart is the Barotsaya, which is composed of a collarless, short-sleeved blouse baro and a wraparound skirt saya. Many innovative designers have designed and redesigned modern versions of this classic Filipina outfit, all of which imbue the feminine spirit of Maria Clara. National Slippers Bakya The bakya are wooden clogs traditionally worn with a barot saya. These were worn well before the introduction of rubber shoes and slippers, which are more common in the Philippines nowadays. Bakya were made from local light wood like santol and laniti. These were cut to the desired foot size before being shaven until smooth. It is then painted with floral designs or varnished to a light sheen. Manufacturer of wooden bakya actually originated from the town of Baet de Laguna which blossomed into an art form. If you enjoy the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell for more videos. Don't forget to comment down below for topics you want me to feature. Thanks again for watching.